Hi guys, welcome back to Baking Fiat. Today I want to first start with a thank you to Shakib because he made me a special apron. So today we're going to be making a vanilla chocolate hazelnut bouche de noel cake, otherwise known as a yule log. So let's start with a vanilla sponge. In a bowl, we're going to put three egg whites. And then in our stand mixer, we're going to put two whole eggs plus three egg yolks. And we'll put it on for two minutes on medium speed. So while that's going, we're going to beat our egg whites with a hand mixer until it's frothy. And then we're going to sprinkle in slowly a quarter cup of white sugar. So I recommend putting a towel under your bowl before you start mixing because I had to do a mid-mix. We're going to be getting it to stiff peaks and then we can fold it in. So in our stand mixer, we're going to put our two teaspoons of vanilla extract. We're going to put one third of a cup of water and our one cup of white sugar. So we're going to mix that in for a minute. So as you can see, Roman is sifting together a quarter teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, one cup of all purpose flour. Okay, so now that our egg whites are stiff, we're going to be putting our flour mixture into the stand mixer until it's just incorporated. We're going to be doing this on low speed. So onto our baking sheet with some parchment paper down, we're going to spray evenly our nonstick cooking spray. Next, we're going to gently fold in our egg whites. Be careful not to deflate them. Yay, it's oven time. So our oven's at 375, so now it's preheated, so we're going to stick it in the oven. Make sure you check the oven after 7 minutes. I put mine in for about 9 and a half. You want to make sure it's going to be like spring back slightly when you tap the middle. So we're going to sift on to a clean towel some icing sugar. You can also do this on parchment paper. You just want to make sure it's evenly coated so when you pull off the cake, it won't stick to it. So for our pistachio moss, we're going to use 20 grams of shelled pistachios and we're going to just grind it in a food processor so it's nice and thin. This is the consistency. So now that our cake is done, I did the spring test. Just tap it gently, see if it gently springs back, and we're going to flip it directly on to our towel and take off the parchment paper, and we're going to roll it quickly, but gently, so that way it takes form of the rolled cake. So I'm going to leave this onto my table to cool. Oh. 
Okay, so next we're making our meringue mushrooms. We're going to be using a Swiss meringue style. So we're over a double boiler. We're taking 100 grams white sugar to 50 gram egg white. You can use any amount that you want. You really could use like half of this. But remember the ratio is double the white sugar to your egg white. So we're going to be whisking this consistently. You really want to take down the sugar granules. Beat them up, you know. Our desired temperature is going to be 70 degrees Celsius. So now that we're at 70 degrees Celsius, we're going to throw it into the stand mixer and put it on high until the bowl is room temperature and you want stiff peaks.
So in a piping bag with an open circular tip, we are going to pipe first our stems and then next our bulbs. So our stems, you just want to do a quick push down from our sill pad and then pull up motion. You want them to be small. And then for our mushroom tops, you want a more bulbous shape. So just start from the bottom, push your tip down and then push for a quick second and then make a pull up motion. So what you saw Roman do was you saw him tap the little toppers of our kind of Hershey Kisses looking shapes with water. It uh, it helps so that way they don't like burn. They're not going to burn because our oven is at 170 degrees Fahrenheit. That you want it as low as your oven can go, basically. Ours, ours can only go to like 140, I believe, or 170. So we're going to top it with um, some cocoa powder, so that way it gives it that like, you know, wild mushroom look. And let's put it in the oven. They go in for two hours and 15 minutes. Just don't even open it. So this is ramen. Okay, so next we're going to be making a little more challenging Nutella buttercream. So on the stove, we're going to start with 90 grams of white sugar and 25 grams of water. We're heating that until 112 degrees Celsius. And then when it reaches 112, we're going to start our mixer. In our mixer, we have our 20 grams egg yolk and 60 grams whole egg. So when our sugar syrup reaches 121 degrees Celsius, we are gonna pour it into our mixer with the eggs that should now be puffy. So we're gonna pour it in quickly while it's whisking away. So we're gonna whisk it on high speed for two minutes and then we're gonna reduce it to medium speed until the eggs are cool and the bowl is not hot. So next we're going to add our 125 grams of unsoft salted soft butter and our 40 grams of Nutella. We're going to whisk it for two to three minutes until it's nice and fluffy. So next we're going to make our chocolate ganache. So over a double boiler we're going to have 200 grams of heavy whipping cream and in a small bowl, we're going to have 200 grams of semi-sweet dark chocolate. So chocolate ganache is just equal parts cream to chocolate. And you want to do this over a double boiler, but you don't want to boil it, just scald the milk. So now that it's hot, we're just going to pour the cream over the chips and let it sit for 5 to 10 minutes. So now that it's sat, we are going to emulsify it and make it a nice, rich color. Look at that. Oh, so beautiful. Alright, so let's put it all together. First, we're going to unroll our vanilla sponge cake. And then we're going to put our Nutella buttercream on and spread it as evenly as possible. But it doesn't really matter too much just because um, you're rolling it up. So as long as you're not making it heavy on one side and nothing on the other, you're going to be fine. Like, don't even sweat it. So 
So next we're going to roll up the cake. Do it as tightly and gently as possible. You don't want to hurt it. So I'm going to take that extra buttercream that we had and just mask the cake. If you want to leave it like this, you, it's fine. You don't have to put the chocolate ganache on. You could do it like a milk chocolate looking thing. So when I put the log on the platter, I cut it at a 45 degree angle on one side and I attached it to the side of the log so it looks like a tree branch. So now we're putting the chocolate ganache on it and you don't want it to look like one solid line, you want it to look like an actual log. So give it that cute look, you know, if you want to run a fork through it after you're more than welcome to it. So we can just clean the platter after. So I left both of the ends of the log exposed. It gives it that cute roll look. But if you want to cover it in the ganache, you're welcome to. So I'm just sprinkling on some icing sugar and as well I'm sprinkling on some cocoa powder. So now our meringue mushrooms are done. So just for this video I sped it up and I stuck them on together but honestly just wait until they're cool. But let's try out the meringue. Oh it's so yummy. Honestly you could just eat these as cookies. They're pretty good. Okay, so what we're going to do with the stems are we're going to glue it with our ganache to make a top and bottom. So again, like make sure your cookies are cool. I just did it fast because I was tired. I wanted to get this over with. I'm sure you're going to feel this way at the end of the day. Okay, so here we are. It's our little mushroom. So it's placement time. You really could place them however you want. I'm putting them three right next to each other. Look how cute they are. It's like a little mushroom patch. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so we're going to take some of the pistachio moss and we're going to just sprinkle it up in there. Okay guys, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Merry Christmas! Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that bell just so that way you can get the notifications.